This week on Blood Brothers TV. I think a blood brother is anybody who hunts and fishes. You go into a sporting goods store and you, you know, you see a guy with a camo jacket on and back in the sporting goods gets to talking about coyote hunting or turkey hunting and you know, immediately you got to bond with him. Start talking about calls and different things and he knows exactly what you're talking about. They do the same thing and so immediately you have a connection with them. So a draw, you know, for me is, is I can, you know, I can recall a lot of things about hunts, but like I said, it's, it's the small things in the hunt that you forget about or, you know, exactly what happened after the shot. A lot of times it's a rush of emotion for whoever's doing the hunting, you know, even, even the camera guy, you, you know, you can replay that again and, and really slow down and, and watch the footage and, and really get to enjoy every aspect of that hunt. Cherokee Sports presents Blood Brothers, an ancestral bond between like-minded individuals that share one passion. Cherokee Sports, Blood Brothers TV, share your passion. Guys, if you've been following the last few weeks of Blood Brothers TV and our turkey episodes, we want you to be successful like we are. The reason that our crews continually get what they get is because of the realism and the motion of the decoys. I'm Brett Fulcher with Cherokee Sports, and I hope you guys enjoy today's show. Yeah, I'm, I'm tighter with people that uh, share the same kind of passions I do and, and outdoor activities, you know. Doesn't matter what walk of life they come from, because immediately you have something in common, you know. I think a blood brother is, is somebody you, you know, you share the same activities with or same hobbies. Uh, somebody who bow hunts, I can immediately start talking to them about it. You know, if you see somebody buying a deer stand, you can, you can well, you've been seeing any, you know, and. You can immediately have a conversation with them, you know, hunting, fishing, trapping, anything like that, and you immediately have a connection with that person. And you know, I can't talk to somebody about tennis or golf or anything. I don't know anything about it. So, so hunting, I can immediately talk to somebody about. And to me, that's that's kind of what a blood brother is. You know, somebody somebody immediately you share a a serious bond with. I grew up in Jackson, Missouri, uh, went to Jackson schools. I'm a roofing contractor now. The roofing's pretty good because you're outside all the time. I hate being indoors for more than five minutes. But I started hunting at a real young age. I remember my dad getting me a first single shot 410 Chris, Christmas Eve and we went out and shot it. He liked small game hunting when, when uh, he was younger and he kind of got out of hunting. You know, had several kids and business and everything. but. But I got into it, you know, real young. Actually, I started videoing, I remember videoing turkey and deer with uh, my mom's big, giant, huge VHS camera, you know, when I was like 10, 12, something like that. And ever since then, I just ate up with it. Bow hunting, you know, we do a lot major, major into bow hunting. Bow fishing, turkey hunting, deer hunting, 
trapping, any, anything in the outdoors pretty well, I do it. Blood Brothers TV will be right back. aren't everything. Tell me you weren't fooled by my perfectly photo printed body and molded head with my fine realistic hair. I'm as real as it gets baby. Tell me I didn't slip in on you and set you up completely undetectable because of my extremely mobile abilities and quick setup. Tell me I wasn't irresistible. The moment you saw me, tell me how unfair it is for me to hold your attention so well that you didn't notice that one important thing in your surroundings. Tell me I'm the only one that's on your mind. There's never been another like me. Nope, you ain't gotta say anything at all cause you're close enough I can smell it on your breath. Boom. The new age of turkey decoy realism is here. The new Cherokee Sports Harry Heads. Available at Walmart. Welcome back to Blood Brothers TV. Being a roofing contractor, running your own business, you, it's a, more of a seasonal thing when you get hard winters. You get a lot of time off in the winter, a lot of time to deer hunt. And of course, then you're hard back at it in the spring, but I, I still take time off to turkey hunt, of course. I'm not sure what it is about the outdoors that, that draws me to it so much. Uh, I guess it's, it's pure, it's uh, the quietness of it, you know. What I get out of the outdoors, I can't put my finger on it. I know, I know sitting inside, I, I can't see a turkey strutting across the field, gobbling and chasing jakes around and can't see a big buck working a scrape, you know, or dog and does, you know, through the woods. And that's something you can't see inside. And, or a coyote busting across the field to a rabbit squealer or something like that. It's just something in the outdoors that fulfills me, you know, that uh, I wake up every morning, that's where I'd rather be. <laughs> when I'm working, I'm thinking about turkey hunting or shed hunting or, you know, whatever time of year it is. And as soon as I'm off, that's what I'm doing, you know. Everybody who hunts and, you know, turkey or deer hunts or bow hunts or duck hunts, whatever it is you do, they, they all have that same feeling to where, you know, they're thinking the same thing. I'm ready to get out of here and go, go duck hunting or turkey hunting or whatever it is. The thing about turkey hunting that really gets me going is, you know, you get out there early and you get to hear that bird gobbling. You're just waiting on that first gobbling. But moving in on the bird, getting the decoys out and, you know, the first bird's pitching down and, him strutting over and running up and flogging the decoy, you know, that's just gets my heart going. I just, I love doing that. And I love, I love taking a lot of, I take a lot of people turkey hunting and, you know, you're watching kids killing their first birds and stuff and seeing how excited they get. And then for life, you've made a turkey hunter, you know, every year they're calling you wanting to go hunting and for long, you know, they're going on their own hunting and that's what it is for me. The ultimate goal, you know, is calling that bird in. You've, you've heard him gobble, he's hammering up on the roost, but ultimately, you're, you know, you're trying to call him in and, and get him in range. There's nothing like watching that bird strut in to, you know, your, your Cherokee decoys. And... You get there right before light, you got the birds roosted, 
sneak out in the field edge there, you know, 20 yards, put your Cherokee decoy out and wait for the show to start. Starts getting light and he's, he's gobbling, he pitches down, runs into the decoy. I mean, that, that's the ultimate thing, you know, to get them in, in range in close quarters like that. And... Billy Badax strikes again. Go get my bird. We can make it through this muddy mess. <laughs> See if I don't know. Keep the mark in the blind over. The outdoors have helped me to be a better person. I don't know where I'd be, you know, if I, if I didn't hunt or fish or spend as much time you know, in the woods and out in the field as I do. And there's something about each type of hunting that does, you know, does something different for me, each one. And that kind of stuff is strong with me. And I'm Jerry Evans, and I am a blood brother. Blood Brothers TV will be right back. Fusion game calls from Cherokee Sports. Two calls fused together. Only one call to carry. Welcome back to Blood Brothers TV. To be able to capture hunts on, on camera adds a, a whole other element to the hunt. It, it's, it's almost like you gotta hunt them twice. Um, you know, you've gotta get everything right for the shot, uh, you know, with your gun or your bow, whatever you're using. And, uh, you know, on top of that, you gotta set another guy up with a camera and hide all the equipment and, and, and get things right and you know, get that bird or that deer or whatever, get that animal in close and, and seal the deal you know, in two different ways. Like I said, you gotta, almost like you gotta hunt them twice. You, you, know, you get to kill them with a weapon or you know, harvest an animal and, and you know, capture that all on film. It's, it's definitely like carrying, carrying a whole crew of people out there and trying to hide them. It just adds a, adds a challenge to it that I like. To have a hunt and, and to get done with that hunt, the first thing I do is go home and hook up the camera to the computer or to the TV and you know, I show my wife, show my friends, and you know, be be sending it to other people, emailing it to people. You know, just just to share it. It's it's exciting to say that you captured something on camera. You know, and, and captured a harvest on camera. It's just no no way to explain the the thrill I get from that. To carry a camera out there, it, it's almost like carrying a weapon. You know, it 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 lets me you know capture the hunt for somebody else so they can enjoy it. You know, and watch that hunt through my eyes instead of through their eyes, you know, cause all the adrenaline and you, you get all psyched up and you know, you got birds working, deer coming in, ducks working, you know, to, to be able to go back and let the person that actually harvested the animal relive that. It, it just, uh, you know, it, it just lets them relive it through what you saw through that camera. Cause cameraman in general can stay pretty calm, you know, cause he's not, the, he's just got to punch record and get his focus, get his frame right, you know, but the person, you know, that's doing the shooting has got to execute the kill shot, you know, to make it, uh, you know, an ethical harvestable shot. So it, it adds, a, adds a whole lot to it. You chopped both their heads off. <laughs> My dad said smoke them, brother. I smoked them. <laughs> Look at that. To be by the, behind the camera is just like holding a gun in your hand, you know, the, to, to punch record is just like pulling the trigger. It, it's it's the same the same level of excitement without the pressure, I guess. Because if you if you screw up something on camera, you just missed out on that footage. If you screw up pulling the trigger, then you know you might miss the animal of a lifetime. So, you know, if you can get the two together, then then it's it's just that much more exciting. So.
be funny. The aspect of video with a hunt, I think it's because it creates a tangible memory instead of a memory that you just have inside your head. You know, we, we can remember and relive these hunts through telling stories to other people and, and everything, but it's a lot of times the little details that you forget about a hunt. And if you've captured that on camera and, you know, you, you've got your footage, or, you know, you got it saved on your computer, you know, you, you got it on tapes or whatever. And, you go back and watch that again, it, it's a tangible thing. You could touch that, that footage again. You, you, could, you could reach inside that hunt and, and relive it in a more tangible way than you can just with recalling it as a memory. You know, it's, it's permanently recorded, so you have it for a lifetime. I guess a, a draw, you know, for me is, is I can, you know, I can recall a lot of things about hunts, but like I said, it's, it's the small things in the hunt that you forget about or, you know, exactly what happened after the shot a lot of times it's a rush of emotion for whoever's doing the hunting you know even even the camera guy you, you know you can replay that again and and really slow down and, and watch the footage and really get to enjoy every aspect of that hunt Quickest hunt I've ever had. <laughs> I didn't have my mouth called in, so I couldn't call to him. I couldn't talk to him. He oh, just flew and hit the road, and here he comes. Oh. Yeah. Think about that. This this thing, when he was way out there, he looked pretty close when you took your eye off the scope, and then when you looked in the scope, he looked like he was way down there at the ring. <laughs> Do you like? Oh, don't even worry about talking. Do you like that? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that, my man? Is cool. that awesome? That was good. Huh? Is that so that? That was good. That was good. <laughs> oh, you did good, buddy. It's just about being out there with nature and being out in the creation and, and seeing all the animals interact with each other, seeing, you know, people interact with the, the animals, that, you know, and, and just trying to slip in there and get inside where they live and uh, become a part of their world for a little bit. Blood Brothers TV will be right back. The most mobile and realistic decoys from Cherokee Sports Fusion Decoys. Another solution from Cherokee Sports. Welcome back to Blood Brothers TV. My definition of Blood Brother would be a person that you're connected with because of the outdoors. Um, it's no different than a lot of other sports. People can strike up conversation 
you know, at the store over, over any sport that's out there, you know, soccer, tennis, you know, golf, whatever it is people enjoy to do, you could strike, a, strike up a conversation and they share a, a common bond or a deep tie with those sports, just like we do in the outdoors, you know, and, and I think the outdoors has a, a little bit more of a draw because it is being one with nature. It's a, it's just a tie that, that connects you with nature and other people at the same time. So it, it makes that bond much stronger than I, I think than a lot of other things that are out there. Video on the hunts, it, it, it just creates such an element of challenge that it's just hard to explain. To have the whole package, you know, you want to get all those sounds. You know, it's starting to break day and we're rechecking the light and, and making sure we're set up at the right angle. You know, got our decoys where they're going to be in the sun and, and shining and, and looking good. When the bird comes in, making sure we're incorporating everything, you know, trying to get the whole, the whole picture all, all wrapped up in one. To spin around and see the reaction of whoever took the shot is the, the peak of the day. You know, that's, that's the peak. That's what you go out for is that moment right after the shot where you can celebrate the kill and look back on how the hunt went that morning and, and you ain't gotta be quiet anymore. You know, you can move around, you can talk, you know, and, and that's the nice thing about it when you get to that point. Is, you know, you're finished and, and you can start celebrating and enjoy what you've done that day. <laughs> Son of that, brother! <laughs> I mean, he did that to report like a maniac. Yeah, he did. That was like mixed martial arts. <laughs> For filming the turkey hunt, film right over top of his shoulder, right, at, right down the gun, and joke around and get the feedback from them. Talk about the hunt, talk about what's going on, and, and capture emotion, you know, e even when they're not looking. That's what it's all about, is, is capturing real life and capturing that as it's happening. A lot of times we'll do it without the other person knowing it. We'll just spin the camera around while they're looking the other way and the next thing they know, turn around, they've been on camera for five minutes saying stuff that really didn't make any sense and, you know, just having fun and living life and enjoying it. Well, I grew up near Sykeston, Missouri. Went to school in Benton, Missouri, Kelly High School. It was a pretty small school. Graduating class was around 70-something people, a lot of farming community type people. Growing up, I, I just, you know, I, I had a pond in, in the backyard to fish in. I'd go after school every day, but I'd get out and, you know, places to go do things, shooting a BB gun and all that. And, you know, that's that's kind of who what's molded me into who I am today. If you've got an X in that field where you want that bird to be standing when you kill it, put that full strut Billy Bat Act out there and, and that bird will be where you want him. The thing with, you know, using, you know, the Cherokee decoys like we have been, once we get set up in the morning, we know where the sun's coming from, we know how to set up the light. It lets us set that decoy right where we want to pull the trigger on that bird. All to do with, you know, the realism, the movement they have, it'll put him right where you want him. You know that everything's going to be right because if you've checked out, all, you know, your camera and checked out your light and where it's coming from and, and how you need to set up for that hunt, all you gotta know is if I'm filming that decoy, then that's the light I want. Well, that's the light you're gonna have when that big gobbler struts around that decoy. You're gonna have him in the same place as that decoy, obviously, you know? And when he's there, you can seal the deal and everything's gonna be right for you. It's been key in getting the birds exactly where we want them for pulling the trigger. Did you see that bird, buddy? That's that big bird we've been trying to get. Oh, man. Oh, yes. We just killed a jumbo. Oh, good go. Oh, yeah. That's him. Look at this. Bird. That's on here, man. Look at That's that. the hog. Oh, my. Oh, God. yeah. Look at that. 6.15, opening morning, Missouri. Woo. That's a 12-inch beard on there. Some people take pictures. I shoot video. I am James Fott, and I am a Blood Brother. Blood Brothers TV rocks. If you'd like a chance of having your hunt film, just become a Cherokee Sports Blood Brother by going to www.bloodbrotherstv.com.
a new breed of TV. Brought to you by Cherokee Sports. You've been watching Blood Brothers TV.